Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is T from Betty and Brenda and today I'm actually making a cancer awareness soap. If you follow me on social media, you know that both my mother and grandmother passed away from breast cancer. My mom as recently as November 2019. So today I wanted to pay homage to those who have lost their lives from breast cancer as well as those who are still in the fight for breast cancer. So today the soap will be all white with the pink ribbon going through the middle of it as well as a pink and white soap frosting on the top. In this bucket I have my hard oils. It's cocoa butter, coconut oil, mango butter, and shea butter. And in this bucket I have all of my liquid oils as well as some oatmeal, colloidal oatmeal, and some yogurt powder. I already have my gloves on. I'm gonna get my mask on and my glasses on and let's make some soap. I'm using today is Peony from Wholesale Supplies Plus and it's supposed to discolor to a light yellow so I'm hoping by adding the titanium dioxide and just a little bit of extra titanium dioxide that it will keep it from turning so yellow hopefully it'll still remain white into the pot just to have a little bit of a, a pink swirl in there. got my soap frosting in the bag and now I am going to put it on the soap. It took quite some time for the soap to set up today and for the soap frosting to set up. So the pink started setting up really quickly whereas the white was still a little soft. So hopefully this pink will, will come out. It's tough. 
but hopefully I can get it out. Uh, my mom, she had breast cancer. She actually went into remission because um, she had it in 2018 and she went into remission. And then six months later, she got it again. And the second time that she got it, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so, it's so hard to get this out. It was a rare form of breast cancer that actually presented in the form of a rash. And this rash was all over her breast and it got to the point where she could not even wear clothes. And she passed away in November 2019. And actually it was the Saturday before Thanksgiving. So although 2020 has not been a very good year, 2019 also wasn't very a very good year and I'm sorry if you hear my son upstairs you know how it is you have kids at home all the time but yeah so that was the story with my mom so I've made a soap in honor of my mom again if you follow me on social media you would have seen me show that soap and I also did a soap in honor of my grandmother. She passed away from breast cancer in 2013. And she'd also had it before. Um, she actually had it when I was a young kid. I don't remember much about it. I was a little girl at the time, but she was in a remission for a good long time for about 30 or 40 years before she got it again. So I made a soap for her as well. And these soaps, of course, will be available in October at bettyandbrenda.com. And for the month of October, the sales for these soaps, or 20% of the sales for these soaps, will go towards breast cancer research. So I hope you will go out there and buy a soap because it just has to be something. There are too many women that just aren't making it from this disease and not just breast cancer, just all cancers, but these particular items are for breast cancer. Soap for breast cancer. Awareness. guys I have already taken the soap out of the mold it's sitting on the cutter so let's cut into this and see what it looks like that's the first sample piece and actually I like it 
let's get into some more of this. I scented this with peony and I kind of did it, well not kind of, I did it because peony is also a pink flower and of course since this is a pink soap, I thought why not. The name of this soap would actually be for the girls. Or maybe for the tatas. We'll see. Just moving some of these little flowers out of the way. I knew I was going to get some drag marks because I actually ended up adding a few little sea salts, pink sea salt, to the soap as well. But even with just the flowers, you get a nice little drag mark there. going to show you some other soaps that I also have that are coming out during that month and I made soaps especially for them my mom loved earth colors so her soap is it has brown in it it's cream green little orange and that one is called Brenda And then my grandmother, she was just as fiery as she could be. She loved red and black. So her soap is red and black. And I just put a little white in it just for an accent color. And the name of that soap is Betty. So you can see that is why our company is Betty and Brenda. We named it after our mother and grandmother. Okay, I'm gonna finish cutting this and I'll come back at the end and show you the other soaps that will be available during the month of October specifically for breast cancer. I will release a new soap each week and remember that 20% of the sales from each of these soaps that are specifically for breast cancer will go towards Susan, Susan G. Coleman. I'm going to make a donation for breast cancer research. So I'll be back in a moment just to show you those soaps. Are these soaps that I actually have or the additional soaps that I have for breast cancer month this one is Brenda again that was named after my mom and this one is Betty my grandmother loved red and black And then these are just the individual handmade soaps. One with the lighter pink, and then these have the darker pink. Just little hand soaps. And then of course, this last one that I just made. And this one of course will be the one that comes out last after it has cured its proper time but I will release another one each week and if you visit my website right now I still have 50% off of all of the summer soaps they are on clearance so I can make room for all the fall ones which will come out um, after actual fall date of September 20th so thank you guys again for watching I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up 
And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I will have videos coming out every Wednesday and Saturday. And of course you can follow Betty and Brenda on Instagram and on Facebook. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.